We've run into a little bit of a problem. We have a chick with a splayed leg. Can't, um, can't walk very good. He'll need a brace. Or I believe it's a she, actually. I'm just going to take this elastic here and find something to hold that together like that. Just taking a ribbon to tie it in the middle and I'll cut off the long pieces. And now to get past the protective mother hens. I'm not sure of the best size, so I'm going to make a couple of larger ones and then just size it to the chick. Just taking a clothespin to um, hold it together, making it easier to tie it. I think I'll probably try the bigger one first. Got to get to it as quickly as possible, as soon as possible, to correct the problem. I might have to reach in with a net to bring her in to get past the hens, possibly. I've managed to put a barrier here to keep those hens solid so when I'm absconding with the chick then they won't get in. Okay I've got the little girl. I think it's a girl. Hi cutie. Okay I've just put the I've just put it on her legs. Oh poor girl. I think I'm okay to put her back. Oh, I'll just um I'll just I'll just clear the water. And um, hopefully she'll get her bearings. I'll just keep an eye on her and if she, oh, if she can't get the bearings, I'll have to bring her in and support her. Make sure she gets enough water and food. This sometimes happens with the Cornish, apparently. Okay, mumsies, go back in. You can look after her. Hopefully all is well. We'll check in later. I just came back to check to make sure that the red elastic didn't attract any pecking. I don't think it will. If she can't get up right now, um, I'll probably take a little dropper and help give her some water at least. It's August 21st. Okay, I had to add some more ties here to make it uh, these loops smaller because she slipped out of it. She's recovering pretty quickly, but I'm going to keep it on her. Okay, I've kind of made it a little tighter here. A little tighter and maybe that'll stay on better. I'm just giving her a bit of water too. Yeah, I notice that he's upright sometimes. He's upright sometimes. Everybody's hanging around with him. Keep him company. Or her. I think that's <clears throat> probably a male and a female. She's been eating for quite a while. She might be getting full now. But I had to hold her up. It's interesting that the gray hen picked this gray chick and the black and white hen picked the black and white chick so they knew which one was which. She's been drinking water too. Not sure if she's had her fill. But the gray hen was frantically trying to call her out to get something to eat, just panicking. You done, girly? I think she might be done. 
Okay. Just kind of propped her up there. I'll, I'll check in. She hasn't got the knack of standing on her feet yet. But at least she's had a fill. At least she's not hungry anymore. That a girl. It's August 22nd and I'm giving her a little bit of physiotherapy. Help her get used to standing back up on her feet. She's gaining a little bit of control. Getting used to the brace and she's stood up and balanced herself at least once, so she's coming along. Her <laughs> both hands, but um, she's been mostly down on her knees. I'll come out and give her a few sessions and a few feedings and waterings through the day. Getting better, little girl. It's August 23rd. She's starting to get the hang of it. There was a huge, um, very severe thunderstorm the night that she might have hurt her leg. And uh, I expect, I suspect that might have been part of it. Might have scared her or something. She's getting stronger. physiotherapy and she should be good. Just takes a few days. <laughs> I've been coming out about four times a day to feed her and water her. <laughs> okay, I'll pick her up and put her up again. And her mother's thrilled. I just give her a little special treat with some scrambled eggs and eggshells as well as the feed. Hens don't even attack me anymore when I grab the chick. He's encouraging her. We'll give her a little break now. Okay, it's um the 24th of August and it's been three days so I'm gonna take his little her little brace off and see um, how she's walking now. She hasn't been using her feet much, but I think her legs are strong enough. Okay, I'll give her a little time and see if she can get her feet going again. <laughs> 
I hope her feet, uh, I'm, I think I'll give her a little more physio right now. Let's see if we can open up her feet. Actually, I wasn't able to catch her, but um, <laughs> she's pretty quick even without the feet, but uh, hopefully she'll catch on pretty soon. She can open up her feet. Uh, maybe I'll try catching her. Okay, I see that she got outside. I mean, she got out in the run here, so I'm not sure if she's still on her knees or if she's using her feet now, but she's out. She got up that ramp or got out somehow, so I think she's just happy that um, she can get anywhere. It's funny, the rooster was down with the hens. Um, I notice he's down there on the ground with them instead of coming up on the roost. He just joined them, I guess he was lonely down there keeping the chicks warm. Look at those tail feathers. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bandage and flatten her feet out on it. To, uh, help her walk. I've had to double it up because her feet are rather big and it's not easy doing it on your own but I'm gonna give it a try. Yeah I did one. I think I might have to adjust her <clears throat> thumb. Meanwhile I've just put her under this colander. Keep her somewhere while I'm working with the bandage. And there's the other one. I've separated her little toes. And I've just left the little to little toes um, separate, so we'll see how that works. I'm not sure she's going to get it. She was up on her feet, but I'll give her some time to figure it out, and hopefully she'll be back up on her feet. I did give her some um, water and some food, made sure she had some fuel for this journey, and... Uh, I'll come back and check out later to, oh, there, she's, she's giving it a try. Oh, she's on one foot. <laughs> come on, girl. She's pretty determined, so. Pretty determined, so, um, got to give her credit for that. Whoo, <laughs> big old duck feet. Oh, you wouldn't get this kind of treatment in a factory farm. It was a little clumsy for her, so I'm going to trim them down a little bit. Feet out. There you go. Well, hope we don't flay them again. <laughs> Anyways, that's um, that's about all I probably will do. We'll see what happens. I'll just take note here. Meanwhile, um, <clears throat> I've gathered this little pile of. Uh, compost from the straw yard and also I started a new one. I'll be getting stuff and weeds and old weed seeds and everything, grass clippings and uh, this should, this will be a whole new batch while supplementing the chicken feed. And also we got down to four degrees last night Celsius and uh, five tonight. So I'm leaving these on the beans and the tomatoes and the basil, the basil, <laughs> basil, the basil. And uh, so I'm just leaving them on for tonight too and then it'll get warmer again. We're, I believe it's uh, August 24th. And the little chick here seems to be getting around okay. I'll make sure later that she's got some had some water and feed before she retires but she seems to be getting around and I'm hoping her feet are in in use. I've just put out their evening feed and the chick is trying or gradually coming over. Still has the band-aids on his feet, her feet. Come on chicky, dinner time. I may have to 
still feed her for this evening. Come on. Come. I'm telling a chicken to come. Yeah, they take their time, but I think I'll I'll just feed her anyways. I'll grab her and feed her. She's having her dinner and some more water. And their one foot, they're, they're still a little bit crooked. I straighten them out a little bit. I'll do a little more physiotherapy. <clears throat> I don't want to keep those on too long. Tomorrow morning I'll take them off probably. I've carefully taken the bandages off and I'm going to make them so a little better so that her toes are spread out more. I've done one the best I can. And I very carefully trimmed them off. Looks like we got a little bit more work to do, but we're near the end of this, I'm sure. Yeah, go girl. She's still buckling her left hand under, so I've been sitting her here. I think I'll sit her here for a while too before I put her back in the pen. Sit her there for a while with her feet proper. I'll just feed her some more mosquitoes. Want a mosquito? Good girl. Yep, stepping on this, so I'm gonna trim it up a little bit more, very carefully. It looks like that girl, little girl is, um, she's walking just fine with those bandages on now. She's getting around fine, so I'm going to try to catch her later on today and take those bandages off, so. I will, there, look at that, look at that. She's doing very well, very well. <laughs>